Good morning children. Welcome to chapter 8 Kingdoms and Empires part 1. In previous lesson, already we have learnt about 16 great kingdoms. They fought for supremacy. So Magadha became powerful among 16 great kingdoms. Okay. In this chapter, we are going to learn about kingdoms and empires in the some important dynasties which ruled our country. Kingdoms and empires. Mauryan dynasty period 322 to 187 BCE. So what is the full form of BCE already you know before, before common era and Gupta dynasty 319 to 543 BCE. After that, South Indian dynasties. What are they? Satavahanas, Kshvakos, Pallavas, Chalukyas. Okay, let us discuss about Mauryan dynasty. Before going to that, now we should know the meaning of these words what is a kingdom what is an empire what is dynasty kingdom a territory ruled by king was called kingdom territory one area ruled by king that is our, that is called as kingdom and empire larger kingdoms were called empires very big kingdom is there, that is called as empire and dynasty when members of the same family become rulers one after another, the family is often called a dynasty. That means from one same family only the rulers one after another, they rule that particular kingdom or empire that is called as dynasty. So now you, we are going to discuss about Mauryan dynasty. Maurya Chandra Gupta became the king of Magadha with the help of Kautilya. The, they dethroned Mahapadva Nanda, Nanda dynasty and established the Mauryan Empire. The Mauryans had a strong and powerful army. They conquered larger part of North India. They ruled from Pataliputra. That means the capital of their dynasty is Pataliputra and Maurya, Maurya Chandra Gupta became the king of Magadha. Okay. So, with the help of Kautilya. Kautilya, one person is a, he was his minister. With the help of him, he became the king of Magadha. So, before them, who was the king for the Magadha? Mahapadmananda. Okay. In previous chapter, we discussed about Mahapadmananda. So, they dethroned Mahapadmananda, Mahapadmananda of Nanda dynasty. That means this person belongs to belong to Nanda dynasty. And they started as, establishing the Mauryan Empire. Who? Maurya Chandra Gupta. And the Mauryans had a strong and powerful army. Okay. So the success of the king depends upon the army. Army means soldiers. Along with the king, if the army also fought well, then only they can been in the battle. They conquered larger part of North India. So many parts of North India under the control of this dynasty. And they ruled from Pataliputra. Pataliputra that is their capital. Magasthenes was a Greek ambassador. He was in the court of Chandragupta Maurya. Okay, Magasthenes one person was a Greek ambassador. That means not our country. From there he came to our country as ambassador and he used to be in the court of Chandragupta Maurya. He wrote one book named Indica which is a source to know about the Mauryan administration. Okay. At that time only he wrote one book, famous book Indica. So from that we got so many evidences and we know so much information about the administration of Mauryan dynasty. Like that, Kautilya 
his uh, he is also known as vishnu gupta was also known as chanakya he was the prime minister of chandragupta maurya with the help of him only he dethroned the mahapadmananda of nanda dynasty and he started this mauryan dynasty okay and adha shastra was his famous book it means this chanakya or kautilya okay any way we can call him he wrote one book that famous book that is only adha shastra in in this book also how to rule how we have how the kings have to do the administration all information is there in adha shastra book adha shastra was written by chanakya or kautilya ashoka battle of kalinga after chandragupta maurya Bindusara became the ruler of Magadha. Later, his son Ashoka became the king of Mauryan dynasty. Already, you know, dynasty means from the same family only the kings rule the particular empire or kingdom that is only called as dynasty. So, after Chandragupta Maurya, Bindusara became king. Okay. After Bindusara, his son. Ashoka became the king of Mauryan dynasty. Ashoka wanted to establish a large kingdom. He fought many wars to expand his kingdom. That means the Ashoka he was a brave king and he had so much skill. He fought well. That's why he established he wanted to establish a large kingdom. That means he wa he wanted to expand his kingdom. Among them so he fought many wars. to expand his kingdom among them kalinga war was an important one okay so many wars he fought but among the uh, among the all wars kalinga war was an important one why because see kalinga was an independent state it was located on the east coast of india east coast of india this kalinga state He used it to be, and it is an independent state. His grandfather made an unsuccessful attempt to conquer Kalinga. Ashoka's grandfather he made an unsuccessful attempt means he he also wanted to expand the kingdom of Kalinga, but he didn't do. He waged a war against Kalinga. Then Ashoka also he also wanted to do the same. That's why he waged a war against Kalinga. His war against Kalinga turned into a bloody one, bloody one. He conquered the kingdom of Kalinga. Okay, so already the war happened and he conquered the kingdom of Kalinga. Means Ashoka only won in the battle. war of kalinga but this war turned into bloody one means so much blood that means see means so many soldiers were killed in the battle and so many people they got wounds also emperor ashoka walked through the blood bloody battlefield of kalinga he saw a huge number of dead and wounded so he won the war he felt very unhappy and decided not to wage any war here after by seeing all the dead bodies of the soldiers of the people and so much blood and wounded people by seeing all them then he even though he only won the war ashoka only won the war but he felt very unhappy why because by seeing them all then he decided not to wage any war here after and that after that war he did not do any war why because he saw the dead bodies and wounded people in the battle field of kalinga then he decided like that he realized that victory through dhamma is a real victory and he devoted the rest of his life to non violence before that all he used to do so many wars always he he wanted to expand his kingdom but after the kalinga war he decided not to do any war and he realized also that victory through dhamma is only the real victory and then he devoted the rest of his life to into non violence that means he don't want to do any violence he don't want to did not want to do any harm to any other people then he became the follower of buddhism which preaches non violence then after he started to follow the buddhism okay 
Buddhism already in previous chapter we discussed. Okay, Gautama Buddha, he started Buddhism and Jainism Mahavira we discussed. So, he became the follower of Buddhism which preaches non-violence. See, this is the empire of Ashoka. See, total, this all North India and some South Indian areas also all are under the control of Ashoka. This is all Ashoka empire, that means Mauryan dynasty. Okay, they use it to rule their empire from Pataliputra. Here Pataliputra is there. See here. Like this. See here only Kalinga. Kalinga war we discussed now. He fought the Ashoka fought so many wars. But among them Kalinga war only very important. Why? Because after the war he decided to not to do any war. Okay. So this is only east coast. This is east no east coast. Here only Kalinga is there. And finally, he uh, he did the war and he expanded, he occupied this Kalinga area also. So, here also one uh, famous big kingdom is there, that is Takshasila. Here Ujjaini. Okay. Here Suvarnagiri. These are the important points in their dynasty. This is total. These are all under the control of Mauryan dynasty. Under the control of Ashoka. Okay, the empire of Ashoka when 2250 years ago. Okay, I think all of you understand. In next video, we will discuss about Ashoka in detail and Gupta dynasty and South Indian dynasties also. Now, a small assignment for you. The Mauryans ruled from Dash. Magasthenes wrote a book named Dash. Ardhasastra was written by Dash. After Chandragupta Maurya, Dash became the ruler of Magadha. Dash became the follower of Buddhism which preached non-violence. Thank you children.